Well, chaps, here we are, back in Bloodborne for episode two. At the end of the last episode, we uh, killed this troll over here, picked up the torch, so now we can see in dark places, and let's get right back into it. So what else do we have around here? Big ass fountain. Hello. Yeah. Ooh. All right, I can't hit anything. That's fine. There we go. Maybe I should have warmed up. Whatever. <laughs> Some oil urns. Uh, you can throw those at a target and it'll take increased fire damage for like 20 seconds or something. I don't have any use for them really. Some cold blood, right on. And this gate over here is gonna be a shortcut that loops around. But we need to go this way first. This episode, our primary goal is going to be to acquire the Hunter set, which will have significantly higher defenses than the uh, the set we're rocking right now. And to do that, we're going to have to head down into the sewers. But first, actually, no, let's just head right there since we're there. That's the town square, the beginning of the game. Man, that was a big werewolf right there. Pretty savage. All right. We got here some more bloodstone shards. I think that makes three now, so we can upgrade our weapon to plus one. Plus one cane. So strong. Alright, what up, dude? Come on. Oh, you're just an idiot. Okay, that works for me. What up? Gotcha. <laughs> Hello. Hey, look at me. That didn't go very well. There we are. Got a little item right here that we can drop down on top of. sure it's just cold blood nothing essential but yeah cold blood nice gotcha <laughs> Ooh. I'm on my parry game today come on son Have a great time. All right, so here we have the Hunter's set. Nice full set, all four pieces, and you can see the uh, the stat difference there is pretty significant. This is honestly a really solid set. You can wear it for the entire playthrough and pretty much have all your bases covered. Not to say that there isn't better stuff out there, but it's pretty good. Gotcha! 
gotcha. Oh, these freaking rats are disgusting. Ugh. Let's go kill some. everything in here so we're just gonna leave the same way we came in with that ladder maybe we'll get in the first boss today that would be sweet really cool looking set too for how early on in the game you get it Always really appreciated just the, the classic hunter's garb. Alright, so we're back up top. There's the town square over there. And let's get past these wolves. It's a nice little, uh, cheese stick way to kill the wolves right here. <laughs> they drop like two to three blood vials each, so this is actually a somewhat viable farming route at the very start of the game. goes so much faster with the hunter's axe. for old people. <laughs> All right, and then this will lead us back to the very start of the level. Dick, don't hit me with your torch. We got another bloodstone shard. That's definitely three that we have now. Uh, so let's go back to town super quick before we do the boss and level up our cane to plus one. All right, we're back in town. So to upgrade, we just run over to the uh, fortify weapons tab. And you can see right there that it costs three bloodstone shards. We've got seven actually, and a little bit of blood echoes. So there, we got a minor damage increase, and don't need to repair. All right, let's just get back to it. All right, and we are back. So let's just run by all this shit. Kill these trolls down here. Good blood vials. Good source of blood vials. Gotcha. Oh. Bullshit. Oh, not good, not good, not good, not good. There we go. That was scary. Ooh. <laughs> oh, not in my house, buddy. Not in my house. Sit down. Got a couple blood vials. Just 
Just gonna unlock this shortcut real quick and then we'll run over to the boss. What up, dude? Ow, dick, that hurt. Pebbles, some blood vials, sweet, sweet. Okay, guys, boss time. Deep breath. Man, he does not make it easy to see if you want to stay locked in in this fight. Locked on in this fight, that is. Consume insight and ring the beckoning bell to enlist the cooperation of hunters from other worlds. Alright, so we died, it put us back in town, we got the beckoning bell, which is like for co-op, and we got one insight, which is the number in the upper right hand corner below our blood echoes, which are sitting in the boss room unfortunately. Uh, so with that one insight, the doll wakes up, and you can use her to level up. I am a doll, here in this dream to look after you. Honorable hunter, pursue the echoes of blood, and I will channel them into your strength. You will hunt beasts, and I will be here for you to embolden your sickly spirit. My spirit isn't well. sickly. Let the echoes become your strength. Let me stand close. Now shut your eyes. Sweet. All right, so this is the level up screen. Uh, Farewell, but we don't have any blood echoes. Shut up. Okay. Back to Central Yarnum. Be right back. And we're back. All right, so uh, I was giving it some thoughts. I really hate, hate the cane for trying to fight Cleric Beast with. Um. So what I'm going to do before we go for a boss, for another boss attempt, is get the Saw Spear, which is uh, one of my favorite weapons, and it has the same bonus, bonus beast damage like the Saw Cleaver that you can get at the start. Obviously I didn't choose the Saw Cleaver because we're rocking the cane, but that will be much better for Cleric Beast because it's just going to do much better damage statistically. So we're gonna grab that real quick. I don't know why that was so hard to explain. After we put down these dogs. Yeah. I knew you were there. Here, some more cold blood, sweet. Yes. Bitch, I'm stuck outside. I don't know of any safe places. If I find out, I'll come let you know, though. Alright, so, Sock Beaver. Let's talk to Elaine of the Crow while we're here. Hunter, are you? 
And an outsider. What a mess you've been caught up in. And tonight of all nights. Here, to welcome the new hunter. Sweet. We got some hunter's marks from her. We can now buy those at the shop. And what those do is they tell us, port us back to uh, the last lantern we were at, and uh, reset all the enemies. So they're sort of like curse stones, Prepare if you will. yourself for the worst. There are no humans left. They're all flesh-hungry beasts now. Okay, if you say so. Still lingering about. Yes. What's wrong? A hunter unnerved by a few beasts. No. No matter. Without fear in our hearts, we're little different from the beasts themselves. Well, you make an interesting point. We got the shake it off emote and our hunter's marks. Drop that body down there. One of these two bodies that we're cutting down has the saw spear on it. I can never remember which one it is. All right, so we got those down there. Now we need to get down there. There's a little machine here that you can land on and take no damage. Let's just sneak up on this fool. Nice. Gotcha. Ooh. Almost, buddy. Almost, but not close enough. Hey, you. Gotcha. Damn, guys, I am, I am on my parries today. Feels good. Feels good. Right. So I want to say... The saw cleaver... Is the one on the other side. I need to wrap up this episode, so I'm really hoping this is it. Damn it! Alright, um, I'm just gonna run around to the other side very quickly. And where's that ladder? There we go. Right. Right back here. And there's the saw cleaver. Clear out these stupid rats. Hey. Ow. All right, there it is. Sweet. Sweetness. So this is the Saw Spear. Uh, does bonus damage to beasts, as I was saying earlier. Really awesome weapon. Quick attack. I just love it. One of my favorites. Uh, but that is where we're going to have to call this episode for today, guys. Uh, in the next episode, we will be going back for boss attempt number two with the saw cleaver. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Peace.